Welcome back survivors. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to unlock all the secret crafting recipes, which if you didn't know are all the green ones that'll have question marks on them. But first, we're gonna start off with the ones from the second game, which are all the recipes by the catacombs. And then we'll do the Saints and Sinners one recipes. If this helps you, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. But anyways, let's get into it. Now for this recipe, we're gonna head to the tower and head in this direction. To get over there, there's gonna be some tower guards in your way though, so you gotta take care of those first. I like brained one that looks like my cousin the other day. Oh really? That's cool. That's fucked up. Was it really <laughs> But anyways, once you get around here, right here on the map, if you don't wanna go through the main entrance over there, you can actually sneak into this alley there's gonna be a hole in the wall sneak past here and the tent right in front of you you're gonna want to go in there and once you get inside on this table the, the devil's footprint the devil's footprint this is not fire force the the devil's paintbrush should be waiting for you on this table Alright, next up we got the Louisiana Kiss Gloves, which I'm wearing right now. For this one, you're going to want to head down to Bourbon Street. And now make your way to this building right here with the wine symbol on it. Now there might be people in here, so watch out. Now once you're in the building, you're going to want to go upstairs. Once you're upstairs, go through this room. And on this table, the Louisiana's Kiss recipe is waiting for you. And now you can become Mike Tyson. And a little tip, if you grab a walker's head, close your fist and hit them, their head explodes and it's an instant kill. All right, for the hand grenade, you're gonna wanna head down to Hotel Eclair. Not gonna lie, the hallways in this place kinda spook me out. All right, for this one, you're gonna wanna head down to this entrance right here. It also leads outside. You can get here from the other skiff. But anyways, you're gonna wanna head to the wine cellar and go down these stairs. And then right under the stairs, once you get down, go underneath here, crouch, and there you go. Hand grenade recipe right there. Probably one of the most simple recipes in this video. All right, the next recipe is the orphan, which you can actually get to from the resting place. So what we're gonna do is go to the boat where we meet Sable, which is over here on the map. But anyways, let's head out and go up the stairs to the reserve. Once you exit the reserve, come around this truck. I mean, you can't really see anything on the map, but come over here. And then there should be a gate or an entranceway and a ladder by a police truck. Climb up the ladder. And then come down and over here in this tent by this RV truck, the orphan recipe should be right here. I already have it, so it's not there for me, but it should be there for you. And I'm gonna show you how to find the speakeasy safe code. We're gonna go in here, go straight into this place where you started off the game. And then come over here, not over there, come over here to the ladder, it's right there. And then you're gonna climb up. Open this door right here. Go up the stairs. Take a right. Not a left. Take a right. And on this shelf waits this coin. And that's the speakeasy safe code. We 
mysterious code. All right, for the Chicago Way recipe, this one is very important as you can only get it on the mission his will be done. Father Carter will give you the key to the speakeasy and then you wanna go to it. In one of the rooms by the entrance, the safe will be waiting on a table, but be prepared as this is the only time you can ever get to the safe. Once the mission is over, you can never get back into the speakeasy and the safe is gone forever. All right, for the grenade launcher, you get it during the mission, things go boom. Whistles will ask you to go check on Maxwell and then once you return, she will give you the grenade launcher blueprint or you can just kill her and you get it automatically. But this will change the story, so be careful. Check with your train network buds out near Memorial Lane. All right, next, for the undersleeve plating recipe, come to Via Corolla. What we're gonna wanna do is come to this area over here. There should be a gap you can go through right here. And then once you get over here, there'll be a truck in the very, very back. And you can actually crouch and go through the gap right here. And then in this house. Whoa. You're in the house, this little room right here by the couch, on this shelf, the undersleeve plating recipe will be right there. All right, for the next three recipes, you're gonna wanna come down to Rampart. For the fourth and pain, you're gonna wanna come to this part of building. And right here, you wanna come to the nurse's office. When you see the cafeteria sign, just keep going down, and it'll be by room 205. Don't get any of What the heck? Watch out, there's gonna be enemies in this building in the second game. But anyways, in the bathroom in the nurse's office, a fourth and pain recipe should be waiting on the sink counter. And there you go. All right, for this recipe, you wanna come to the gym in Rampart. Let me kill you some. Forget these things. But anyways, come to the bleachers right here, and there should be little things you can climb up. Wee. And also, you can pick up your holy Bible. But then you're gonna drop down, and in this locker room. There's the recipe for the exploding bot or the time noisemaker bomb. Come to where I am on the map and in this room with the piano, the code should be waiting right here on the floor. In the rubble of Old Town. All right, for the steam mortal recipe, you're gonna wanna come to Old Town. All right, you're gonna wanna come to this blue house right here on Fordox Street. And, and then you're gonna climb up the side of the house. Oh my God. But anyways, once you're in here, the hell? <coughs> Zombies? But you're gonna wanna come to the stairs and then in this room right here on the map, the safe will be waiting for you and the steam mortal will be inside. I'm pretty sure you- Yo, shoot! Oh yeah! All right, for Samedi's hand, you're gonna wanna come down to the ward and then go to this little blue building right here. There it is.
But anyways, once you walk in, you want to go through this door, through the hole in the wall. And then once you get in this office with, with the computer on it, the code will be waiting for you right here. And also there's a cool picture here you can take back to the resting place. All right, for Samedi's hand, you're gonna wanna come to Via Corolla. And like the paper says, it is located It's in the place where the Golden Lions guard. And it'll be right here on the map. Now once you're at the house, you want to go to the side of it on the right. Go through this little hole. And then on the side here, There'll be a little spot you can climb up. And then right here, this is where you put in the code. But yeah, inside of this safe, the Samedi's hand blueprint will be waiting for you. And don't even try going in the house because the door is blocked off so you can only get here through climbing on the side of the house. All right, for the explosive arrows recipe, come down to Bastion. <laughs> but anyways, come to this blue house right here that has a car running through it. It'll be by Bond Park Street. Just climb inside. Oh look, mini pillows. But anyways, on the shelf right here, the explosive arrows recipe will be waiting. And if you've never played the first game, then down here, this is where the Axeman's hideout was. Ah! That was supposed to be his armor, or it's his old armor. And there's free food in here. These are all the people he wants to kill. Here is his chain. And then once you got that, come back to the resting place because that's where the safe is. But once you're here, this is where the bus is. Go in this direction where the lantern was in the first game. And then once you came over here, go through the gate. Go up the stairs and then don't go in the door, go to your left. And here's the entrance to where we want to go. The graveyard. Don't get jump scared. There's going to be zombies in here. What the heck? I picked this thing up. Dang it. Don't go to where the reserve is. Go this way. To your left. But anyways, now we're here, right here on the map. And then once you're up here, but once you're up here, go straight ahead from the entrance where this gate is. And you'll see right there, the jazz men that the note was talking about. And then over here, there's gonna be the safe. Put the code in. Three, zero, one. And then inside, there you uh, there you go. Explosive arrows recipe. <coughs> Thank you. If you said bless you. All right, now this method is how you can get all five of these recipes at the same time. 
So to get jambalaya, dumbo, big net, the lever action rifle, the AR-416, the AR-416 ammo, all you have to do is go and kill tower guards. When you kill them, they drop the recipes. Here, I'll show you right now. All right, to get all of those recipes, you're gonna wanna come to a location with human enemies. When you kill these enemies, nine times out of 10, they'll drop a recipe for you. And if you're lucky, you'll get the one Actually you want. change that number to about four times out of 10. So Big net right here. Here are some more sour guards. Let's take care of them real quick with this amazing gun in my hand. Damn, she got destroyed. Lever action rifle and the AR416 ammo. Eventually, you get each and every one of those items. All you gotta do. Go kill tower troops anywhere they are, like if they're in Bastion, if they're in the tower. Do that and you'll eventually get them. I'm pretty sure there's like two or more recipes that I didn't say that you can also get, like the sticky proximity mine and something else. But anyways, let's move on to the next ones. All right, for the 45 revolver, there's actually two ways you can get it. And this is how to get the gun and the ammo. The first method is to go and kill tower guards because they can drop it when you kill them. Or the most certain way is to go find the safe code location and the safe location, which I'll show you right now. 